This is part three of creating custom widgets in Workspace One Intelligence. This part is specifically around using trend data. So what is trend data? Well, the easiest way to answer that is to tell you what kind of questions it will answer. So in part two, we basically covered snapshot data, which is what is the OS version of my device right now. But what trend data can tell you is the state of a device in the past. So what was my OS version 30 days ago? And then it can also trend that data over that time range up until right now. So how many devices had this OS version 30 days ago, 29 days ago, 28 days ago, all the way up until today, you can see that. Um, same thing with applications and other device states like inventory, which is the most popular thing or the most popular device state that people are looking at, profile, certs, apps, OS updates. So as an example, the, the real question you wanna use the stated answer is, all right, I pushed something out like an app on day zero, and I wanna see how that trends over the next seven days. So if I have a thousand devices, I can see at the end of each day, how many devices have that version, and you can check that over the next seven days. And then that can trend to a thousand. So we're going to track what data sets have trends. They're mainly in the UEM data um, because it's where most of the snapshot data is. And again, these are just historical snapshots. So you can see trends. You can track apps, risk scores, profiles, device attributes, and patches are the main trend data. So what I'll show you live are the parts of a trend widget. Um, again, you're going to select a trend type, which is really like a a, a template, if you will. But if you just want to look at everything, you can just select all devices. The measure, again, is the y-axis. So you're counting device states again over time. So you always want to say to count of device GUID. You're grouping by, which is splitting that y-axis up into groups. So instead of counting all the devices, I want to count all the devices in specific groups. Um, so outside of the metric chart, you can choose like a, a horizontal bar chart that will split it into those groups. Um, results per group, right? If you're trying to split it into uh, something that has more than 100 groups, you could say, I just want to see the top 10 results. That's what that's used for. Filters reduces the entire data set. And then this is now the introduction of a date range. Since trend data is custom, or sorry, historical data, we will add a date range so you can look back in the past or select a custom time frame, a custom date range. Um, but you could say last 28 days, and then if you want to split all that up by day, you would say date range, last 28 days, frequency per day. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm in my custom widget, and I'm going to go to UEM and choose like device trend. Here's all those different uh, templates that I could look at, but for this, I'll just show you how to create one from scratch. I'll select all devices. Um, I have a table here, but I'm going to do a vertical horizontal bar because I'm going to show you a trend of OS versions over time. So devices by OS version over time, or as a trend. So I'm going to count all the device GUIDs, and I am going to uh, select my trend by OS version. That. All right. And I want to do, um, so this is looking at Windows, Apple, iOS, Android. So I want to select just iOS. All right. So, really quickly, I can now see. Um, there's about a thousand devices in here and it's slowly growing, but the OS version that's growing the most, and maybe vertical is not the best. Let's do, um, yeah, vertical is pretty good. Um, so I can see over the last 28 days per day and let's target one specific OS version. So one that is actually gaining traction is definitely this one here, 
So if I'll add in OS version 18.3.0, this will completely change and show me the trend that's going up. There you go. So now I can specifically look at this one OS version and see how that's trending up as it goes upwards. Okay, uh, let me do an example for applications now. So I come back here, Workspace One UVM, and let's do an app trend. I'm gonna do all managed apps. And let's choose again, device GUID always for this type of aggregation. Uh, last 28 days over a day, it's gonna give me a, a bunch of data, but I wanna filter on one specific app. So let's look at platform is Mac, and let's choose Zoom. All right, should get hopefully around 4,000 data points. I think everyone has Zoom in Omnisa. Okay, so it shows the wrong zoom one. Let's do contain zoom. All right, that looks better. Now, this is a pretty good thing. I actually don't know the app name for zoom as it reported by the device. So I'll group it by app name to see what's the most popular. Okay, zoom workplace. So I do need to update this to include zoom. Workplace instead of Zoom. Cool. Now I want to know by version what's trending. So I'm going to do version here. All right. And I see this small one slowly creep it up. Um, so here's 6.2, 6.1. This one's actually all empty, which is interesting, but uh, you can see like Zoom hasn't been updated in a while. Let's look at the last 60 days. But it gives you a pretty good idea that everyone here has had this 6.2 version for a very long time. So that's an example of how to track app trends over time for uh, using the trend data.